So this question says line M in the XY plane contains the points 2, 4, and 0, 1. All right, so first of all, this is a plug-in picture question, at least how it's written right now. And out of, out of habit, anytime I see wording that's describing something that can be drawn, I'm going to draw it. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm trying to do a good job here of keeping my lines pretty evenly spaced. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's go to 7. So what do I know? So I have a point at 2, 4. So that would be 2. And then 4 would be here. So I'd have a point right there. And 0, 1. So I'd have a point also right here. Because that's going to be 1. So my line, this line M, basically looks like that. So that is M. Which of the following is an equation of line M? All right, so whenever I see equation of line, I'm thinking Y equals MX plus B. And the B portion of this represents the Y intercept. The question actually tells us the Y intercept here, 0 comma 1, and we can see it visually here. So we know, therefore, that B is equal to 1. The M portion of this is the slope, which because I've drawn this, I could think of it as just rise over run and visually figure out, well, how do I get from here to here? I would have to, and I'll use a different color, I'd have to go rise from 1 to 4, which is up 3 units, so that would be my rise. And then I'd run from 0 or from the y-axis over to 2. So that would be my run. So that would be my denominator there. So my slope would be 3 over 2. Um, obviously, I could also use uh, the more complicated strategy of finding slope, which is not all that much more complicated, but a little bit more work, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Remembering that the question gave me right two points. in which case I can say that 2 is x1 and that the 0 is x2 and 4 is y1 and 1 is y2. Plug all that stuff in and I'm going to still end up with 3 halves. All right, so now I know that m is equal to 3 over 2 and b is equal to 1. So all I have left to do is plug those into my equation. So I have y equals 3 halves x plus 1 and therefore the answer is choice d.